Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining me for another shave. Exciting change this week to the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave Series in that we're going to be featuring a Battle of the Barbershop series. And so you're going to see myself and my fellow shavers take two barbershop scents, have them compete head to head on all the various components that a shave soap should offer today. Some of those components are going to be um, how quick it is to lather the soap, face feel, slickness, cushion, post shave feel, and any other components that we feel that we should measure. And so that's going to be exciting. I'm excited to do mine. Um, and you're going to see all the different shavers featured all kinds of different soaps. And so you'll get to see all the different soaps perform. You could see tallow base, you could see vegan formulas, you could see different animal fat formulas. In my case today, I'm going to be featuring two vegan formulas from two of my favorite artisans today. The first one is going to be Wickham's 1912 formula. This is the classic 24. This is their barbershop scent. And this is a 50s barbershop fragrance. And this is made in England. And again, it's a vegan formula. On the opposing side, I've got Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Good Vibrations. This is a 60s barbershop scent. This is also a vegan formula, but this is made in the US in Arizona. And so two of my favorite artisans, both competing, super excited to see who comes out on top. Fun fact about this soap, this was the event soap for the Big Shave West one. And it's now part of their main line and you can pick it up at West Coast Shavings website. So just something interesting about that soap. So here's how this competition is gonna work. I'm gonna take two brushes and I'm gonna lather each soap on one side of my face. And so one side you're gonna see good vibrations, the other side you're gonna see the 1912 Classic 24, and then I'm going to just lather them up and do all three passes and my subsequent cleanup pass on each side with each different soap. And so that's gonna allow me to contrast all those different components as I have both lathers, both soaps on my face at the same time. So again, one side lathered with one soap, one side lathered with the other soap. The tools I'm gonna to be using for that, for the Good Vibration Soap, this is the Beacon Handle with the new Tuxedo Knot offered by West Coast Shaving. This is without a doubt uh, a surprising little brush, 24 millimeter, but one of my favorite brushes right now, and it's only 20 bucks. And then for the Classic 24, same thing, Beacon Handle, but a Poisson style knot, tried and true, great performer, gonna be using that for that soap. And so one side, one soap, one side, the other. All right, got both soaps blooming. I do have the aftershaves for both soaps. And the tool for my shaving today is going to be my Edwin Jagger DE89 3D diamond handle. Absolutely in love, if you've been watching my other videos, in love with having this razor back. I don't know what I did without it for three years, but I'm absolutely loving this. And I've got a fresh Bolzano blade in there right now. And oh, before I forget, let me give you the scent notes for both of the soaps before I proceed. Good Vibrations, again, 60s barbershop scent, sandalwood, mahogany, rosewood, light vanilla muskiness, rosemary, soft lavender, amber talc, and oak moss. Very complex scent. Classic 24, again, is a 50s barbershop. Bergamot, pineapple, rose, dry birch, Moroccan jasmine, patchouli, oak moss, musk, ambergris, and vanilla. So again, two very complex scents with a lot of base notes in them. See who comes out on top. Fragrance-wise, I've not smelled any contemporary these soaps, so there's nothing that rivals it. There's nothing that comes close to the scent. These are two very unique barbershop fragrances uh, in their own kind, and they do have that vintage homage to them, but they also have a contemporary undertone, so they can be very well used today. Love both the scents, excited to try this out. So without further ado, let me wet the face. Wetting both brushes as well. All right, let's see how this turns out. Four minutes in, I've got to get this done in record time and I'm having two soaps compete, so. All right, I'm gonna load up Classic 24 first. Both of these soaps are super easy to lather. They're both great performers. And they both give me good face feel. So I kind of know what to expect from both soaps, but at the same time, who knows? Want to get a good load with these, get a good amount of hydration in your soap so it doesn't come out pasty.
Both of these are rather soft soaps too. So can't dig it in it, uh, dig in on them as aggressively as I can with a synthetic as I would with an animal hair. All right, nice and creamy, got that in there. Gonna move on to good vibrations. So these knots are very different, but both great performers. Be interested to see if one of those knots outperforms the other. So that would be a subsequent competition that I hadn't planned on. So as I'm lathering these, they both lather very easily. They just explode out of the tubs, but they lather very differently and they have different textures. But the fragrance on these, my bathroom smells glorious right now. The fragrances on these soaps is amazing. Again, not smelled anything like these soaps before. So you know how some barbershop scents out there, you'll find that there's you know maybe a couple of soap companies that make a, a very similar scent or a different take on the same scent. Not smelled anything like either of these. And that's one thing I liked about them as far as the competition goes. I think I got enough in there too. Note to myself, I'm only doing half of my face with each one. And I'm loading it up like I'm gonna do 16 passes or something. All right. So since I have this tub out, it's got good vibrations. It's gonna go on the first side of my face, which is the right side for me. Putting the residual lather there. I don't think I'm gonna lather these both at the same time. I think I'm gonna do one at a time. Just because I don't know if I'm ambidextrous like that. All right, let me make sure I get all of this lather off my hand so as to not to mix the two. Taking all the soap off of Wickham. There's a nice sweetness on this one, on the Wickham. Something very different. When it comes to barbershops, I don't want something too vintage and too aged. I do want something that gives me a contemporary spin, just an overall nice fragrance, and something that I can use with some level of frequency. All right. So 1912 was on the left side of my face. Let me go ahead and lather that up. Got a good amount of hydration in this soap driving me nuts not being able to go all over my face. It's already handicapping me. But as you can see, no issues with the lather on the soap. And this is the 1912. water in there. Don't know that it needs a lot. This is awkward. But a great soap. So I've got two competing scents on my face that are very robust and very unique. And I think my nose is getting confused. But that came off my neck. That looks pretty great. I love the way these soaps lather. And what's really great about this is this thing was all the craze three years ago. And look at the lather on it. It's still a great performer today even with all the variations we have of 
synthetic knots now. Still great. All right, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. And right now, as you would guess, no irritation, no tingling, no burning, no nothing. They both feel great. This one is super creamy. Right off the bat, different texture. And the other thing I've noticed about PAA is it does start off relatively pasty, no matter how much water I put in it. So you can see the difference, pasty, nice and hydrated. This is gonna need more water right off the bat. I put the same amount of water pretty much in both the uh, brushes, as far as I can measure. And it just starts off that way. It's a great performer. It's gonna lather up the way that you want it to lather, but it does take a, little, a tremendous amount of water. I just put a ton of water on the brush right now. And it's still gonna require a ton more. So right now, as big of a PAA fan as I am, as far as quickness, time efficiency, as far as the time it takes to get the lather going, Wickham actually wins that battle. It's all collecting on the bottom. It's starting to get where I need it to be. But this is awkward lathering two different soaps because I'm used to the fluidity on my face. And what I don't want is the Wickham to start to dissipate. It doesn't look like it is, but. I'm gonna just kind of brush that in. But it's getting nice and creamy. PAA makes one creamy lather, it's good stuff. Again, we're just measuring on different components. But this is pretty fluid now, pretty hydrated. Had to add a lot of water to it, but that's just the nature of the soap. Still performs great. I think I'll go with that. Let me go back to the Wickham side. Just apply a little bit more. I might win the award for most awkward video. All right. Since I put Wickham on first, I'm gonna do that first. So now that the awkwardness is over, I got all the brushes loaded up. Um, yeah, that was really weird to do, but we did it. Thank you all for staying with me. Super slick.
Pose shape is good, slickness is good. Pretty nice. And again, I don't know if it's fair or not because I'm not overly shocked about it. I've, I've used several soaps from these two companies and they're all great. And you know, I'm not shocked by the performance. But it's interesting to have them both on your face at the same time. This isn't intended to be a silent shave. I'm really just trying to measure these components. <laughs> I know you guys are used to all my jibber jabbering. Sometimes I watch my videos. I'll watch them back and I'm like, my goodness, I never shut up. I just like to talk and I talk for a living. Even a lot of the shaves I do that aren't West Coast shaving shaves, I'll shave on camera live so I can talk to people. This is gonna be hard to measure, but I do have a couple of thoughts. Surprise, right? So, post shave, not feeling a tremendous difference. My face feels good on both sides. It feels hydrated, it feels nourished, it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel stingy, it doesn't feel irritated. Feels great, both sides. Really good soaps. All right. Good vibrations for the second pass. I think what I'm gonna do is at the end, see, I haven't quite thought this through. What I'm gonna do at the end is, based on all the components that I outlined, fragrance, how easy it is to lather, slickness, face feel, post-shave feel, I'll let you know how I measure those at the end. This is Classic 24. Doing my best not to get any overspill between the two. Might be inevitable that we get a little bit, but I'll do my best to keep both side or both soaps on their respective sides. So we've got an even competition. All right, cross grain. Good Vibrations, Classic 24. I can tell you right now, this is gonna come down to probably one component, and it's gonna, that's what it's gonna determine the victor on this. Because they're both very, very good, excellent slope bases. But again, not surprised. I knew this was gonna be difficult. And I've had good vibrations for probably about a year. This soap is super, the Classic 24 is super slick. Um, 
I've had class of 24 or no good vibrations for over a year and excellent soap. I've used it. Not surprised by the way PAA is performing. Classic 24, I just got in the mail this past Friday. Or Thursday. It was Thursday. And never used this particular fragrance, but I've used, I've got like five other Wickham soaps. All right. Okay. Starting to feel some differences. Now here's something else to keep in mind. PAA retails at about $15 a tub. Wickham retails at about $18 a tub. So draw your own conclusions from that. But I am starting to notice some differences between the two soaps. All right, so Classic 24 for the third pass. Some more lather on there. Still creamy, still voluminous, still a lot left in that brush. It smells great. There we are. Good vibrations. And I have to tell you, both of these soaps have performed wonderfully as well as differently. Texture on these soaps is quite similar. I'm sorry guys, this video is not gonna go less than 20 minutes. And I kind of knew that just because there was some different components to this video. And not just the standard shave, because I've actually got to stop and pay attention to some things here. All right. This is gonna be against the grain. vibration side. Yeah, this is going to come down to one component. Wickham side, classic 24. Now the price differential is for, I don't know what, because they both offer four ounces of soap and it could be the variances in formula. But again, Wickham is about three bucks more per tub. Which tells me there might be some additional properties in that soap that are not in the PAA soap. I don't know. But I can tell you right now, I'm not experiencing a whole lot of difference. And that's a good thing because my face feels great. It's very hydrated, very slick. Fragrances are wonderful. Soaps are creamy. So I'm not getting a bad experience. Now my goal is to keep this video under 30 minutes. I tried to go fast, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, classic 24 side. Gonna pull the lather out of the knot. Very nice. Just to do my cleanup pass. Oh my gosh, that's creamy. Again, guys, these are two of my favorite artisans right now. If I had to make a top five, definitely Wickham, PAA, Sterling, Oleo, Soap Commander. 
those are my top five, in case you ever wondered. Okay. want to get all the residual soap off so I don't mix the two but like I said a little bit of overspill is probably going to be inevitable. I'm going to take the rest out. This is the PAA side, good vibrations. Also super creamy. I gotta tell you though, playing with these soaps is a lot of fun. And it's hard just to rub all that soap on one side of your face. All right. Here we go, it's my cleanup pass. we go. Here we go. So, my face feels great all the way around. And I, I gotta tell you folks, I didn't see a lot of stark differences between the two soaps. I just, it's gonna be a difficult decision. It's probably gonna come down to fragrance. Both super slick, I'd give them the same grade. Both a lot of cushion, give them the same grade. Both uh, just tremendous face feel. Post shave is awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't feel, got a lot of residual slickness on both sides. So from every component, so face feel, post shave, slickness, cushion, they're all the same. Where it's going to probably prompt a tie is Wickham was a little easier to lather up quickly. So it, lathered, it gave me that rich, thick, voluminous lather a lot quicker than the PAA soap did. So you saw how quickly I did it on the Wickham side and how much time it took me on the PAA side. So that's one difference I noticed. Uh, as far as fragrance goes, I'd have to give the nod to PAA. I'd like the fragrance on Boardwalk Barbershop a little better than I like on the Classic 24, even though they're both great. And so based on that, I'd have to give it a tie. So PAA has a better fragrance. Um, Classic 24 lathers better, or lathers a little faster, not better, but it lathers faster. And then all the other components were pretty much the same. They're both premier soaps, they're both I mean, my face feels wonderful. I didn't really notice a stark difference. In fact, if I closed my eyes and just shaved all the way and didn't realize I had two soaps on my face, I probably wouldn't have known a difference. So the big differences, again, were fragrance and ease of lather. Those were the two. And I got a couple little weepers here, I noticed.
which I hate. All right. So hopefully I got rid of those. So there you have it, folks. Again, I hate to say it. I knew this might happen, but it is a tie all the way around. So I might get a ton of thumbs down on this video, but who knows? Got to give my honest opinion, you know? All right. Good vibrations. Again, the one thing I like, ooh, that feels good. I do prefer a splash over the balm. Balms are nice, but again, I do prefer the splash. PAA makes a splash. That's one thing I wish Wickham did do was make a splash, but they don't, that's okay. But they do make these handy dandy balms, which feel great. One of the most awkward shaves I've ever done, 31 minutes. And I knew it might go long because of the competition aspect of it and trying to be comfortable with the shave. And I didn't even talk as much as I normally do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I think it was a lot of fun. I appreciate West Coast Shaving doing this competition. I think it changes things up, it gives you a little bit of different of a perspective and just makes it fun. So we appreciate that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't give me too many thumbs down. God bless, have a great week, until next time.